Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Your Life Show with Robert Harley. Thank you for joining me and um, I want to welcome you to, um, thank you for joining me again tonight. So um, I'm going to get right into today's lesson. As I said last night, we um, I told you tonight, tonight is Wednesday night and Wednesday night we're going to talk about um, your dreams, your dreams, and um, the series that we're, we're dealing with is called Put Your Dream to the Test. Put Your Dream to the Test. So, I forgot to switch the paper over. Put Your Dream to the Test. Welcome to the lab. So, we're going to talk about that tonight. Um, as you know, for the last couple of nights, this is the third week in a row we we'll be talking about putting your gym to the test. I'm not going to, just going to do a quick review of what it is we're talking about. But before that, I just want to um, again ask everyone to like these videos, share these videos, and leave a comment on these videos. Like, share, and leave a comment on these videos, please. I really, really, really appreciate it. And also, um, if a uh, one, if this is the first time you're seeing my, you've seen one of these live videos of mine, or two, if you have seen me before, um, I really appreciate it. Also, just leave it in your comment where you seen me from. If you seen me, just name the states or the city or the country, and I really greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, yesterday I saw some people, saw some some of you folks who been watching me. Um, yesterday, um, hi Stefan, hi Nazam, thanks for joining me guys. Um, yesterday I saw some some people watching me from uh, other, other parts of the country and the United States and stuff, so I great, <clears throat> really, really appreciate it. So um, a couple of weeks ago we started this series called Put Your Dream to the Test, and we went through... Um, 10 questions to ask yourself and then going to put your put your gym to the test i'm going to run through the questions one more time and then last week we focused on the question number one and this week we're going to focus on question number two so first i'm going to i'm going to um just run through the question just to refresh your memory what the questions are and then we're going to get in focus on question number two. So the ten questions that you ask yourself to put your, te your your dream to the test are number one, the ownership question. The ownership question to state is: Is my dream really my dream? We talked about that last week. Is my dream really? Is the dream that I have is really my? Is my dream really my dream? Or is it someone else's? Question number two, the clearly question, clearly question. Do I clearly see my dream? Three, the reality question, we'll talk about this next week. The reality question, am I depending on factors within my control to achieve my dream? Number four, the passion question, does my dream compel me to follow it? Number five, the pathway question, the pathway question. Pathway question goes like this, do I have a strategy to reach my dream? Number six, the people question, the people question. It goes like this, have I included the people I need to realize my dream. Have I included the people I need to in, to achieve my dreams, to realize my dream? Now we know that when you're pursuing your goals and your dreams, you can't do it all by yourself and you shouldn't do it all by yourself. You need people, other people around you. Number seven, seven, the cost question, the cost question. Am I willing to pay the price for my dream, whatever the price may be? Number eight, 
the tenacity question the tenacity question goes like this am i moving closer to my dream and number nine the fulfillment question the fulfillment question does working towards my dream bring satisfaction and number 10 the significant question the significant question goes like this does my dream benefit others does my dream benefits others so as i said those those are, that's that was just a recap on what we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks last week we focused on question number one the ownership question i'm not going to go into that for time's sake but if you want to see um hear what we talked about just do go back to last week wednesday and watch that one now today oh you know i forgot to put in um in the comment here the topic for today i just kind of went live but i didn't do my usual welcome to the to uh in the comment and then put the title of today's topic i forgot to do that i just kind of went live right away okay anyways maybe i can still have time to do it later on afterwards okay so the clearly question do i clearly see my dream so give give us a clear vision that we may know where to stand and what to stand for that's by peter marshall a quote from peter marshall give us a clear vision that we may know where to stand and what to stand for if you have a clear vision you will eventually attract the right strategy if you don't have a clear vision no strategy will save you that's by mike hyatt mike hyatt okay so we we'll talk about now the first one so do i have a clear vision i haven't written down do i have a clear vision for my g do i do i see do I see, do I clearly see my dream? That's the first one, the clearly question. I, I, I decided to write it down just in case anyone wants to take notes, right? You can, you can look what I'm writing right down here. So the, the second question is the clearly, the clarity question. Do I clearly see my dream? Just in case you guys want to take the, jot that down. Hope you can see it. I kind of, well, we can see it from that what is that too far but you can always rewind the video too so we got the, the first part of uh, of that is called number one number one is a dream makes a very a, a clear dream makes a general idea very specific a clear dream makes a general idea very specific. So that's what 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 that's one of the things that when you have a clear, when you can clearly see your goal, your dream, you can clearly see it in your mind and even on paper, it makes a general idea that you have about your dream. You narrow it down to be to be very specific. The, here's a quote from um, from Ben Stein. So the, the indispensable first step to getting the things you want out of life is this. Decide what you want. I'll read that again. The indispensable first step to getting the things you want out of life is this. Decide what it is you want. Here's a, here's um here's a uh, sort of few um, general ideas versus more specific ideas. Here's a couple of them. I want to lose weight. I need to treat. I need to treat. Um, I need to treat employees better. That's those are general things. Like, I wish. Now I want to. I I want to weigh a hundred and hundred of eighty. 85 pounds by June 1st. Now that's more specific than just saying I want to lose weight. I want to weigh 185 pounds by June 1st. 
I, and instead of saying, I want to treat employees better, I said, I will honor someone at every Monday staff meeting. I will honor and uh, I will honor someone at every Monday staff meeting. So that's been, he said, oh, I want to treat my employees better. A more specific way of saying it is that I want to honor someone at every Monday staff meeting. Here's another one. I want to get out of debt. I want to get out of debt. That's like a general statement, general idea. Here's a more specific one. I will pay off all my credit card balances by December 31st. I will pay off all my credit card balances by December 31st. That's more specific. That's your dream. That's more specific. I'm just going to, I said I was going to just throw a couple of them out just to show you the, the difference between being general idea and a small specific idea. So number two, we go on to number two. A clear dream doesn't become clear without effort. Again, I want I wanted to write these things down just in case you guys want to take notes. So a clear dream don't become clear without effort. So whatever your dream is, you, whatever you want to accomplish in your life, you're not gonna get there without some kind of effort. You have to put effort, you have to put, you have to put um, action into it. So you have to take action. So a clear dream don't become clear without some kind of effort. You have to put effort into it, make some effort. Um, number three, a clear dream affirms your purpose dream affirm your purpose i hope you guys are taking some notes and writing these down i'm you know that's why i'm kind of purposely starting out of the way you guys can see see the board and hopefully it's not too far you guys can jot these down a clear dream affirm your purpose so it affirms your purpose you know um i talk about if you're watching my videos before I, you know i've talked about the different the difference between potential and purpose there's a difference between the two of them. They they are related, but they're different. They are related. They can they go hand in hand with each other, purpose and potential, but they're different. You can sit take them apart and talk on each topic, each each one of them separately, but they also go hand in hand. So when you have, when you have a clear dream, a clear dream will affirm your purpose, your purpose in life. It will affirm it. They go hand in hand with your purpose in life. Number four. Oh. Number four. <laughs> I'll hold it up here because I ran out of paper. It's my last piece, piece of paper. So I ran out of paper. So I just had to write it down on this thing here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, yeah. Number four. A clear dream determine your priorities. A clear dream determine your priorities. So, what are your priorities? You look at look at look at the priorities, and when you have a clear dream, it will determine your priorities. And number five, a clear dream gives direction and motivation to the team. A clear dream gives direction and motivation to your team. You know, you have to surround yourself with a team of people right to achieve your goals and dreams and so that's what number five is all, all about again I, I decided to do it this way because I want to give you guys a chance to jot these down take notes that's the, that's the only reason why I did it instead of coming out and read out these things I wanted the guys to get, get a chance to jot these down so I hope you guys are taking notes I hope you guys are jotting these down I'm gonna to put this one down for now so <clears throat> That's it for for the for today. Lesson about uh, putting your dream to the test. Today's today's uh, question was the clearly the clarity question. The clarity question, and how to clarify your dream. Are you clearly? Do you have a clear vision? Can you clearly see in your mind's eye, in the imagination? Can you clearly see your goals, your dream that you have for yourself, for your family, for your business? Um, in whatever area of your life, can you clearly see it? 
So you put your gym to the test. You test by answering those 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 five questions that I have here. When you answer the, when they can put it can answer them clearly, then you know you have a clear vision for your for your dream. A clear you can see the dream clearly. Next week we're gonna talk about um, question number three. Question number three was um, what was it? I have to go back here. Question number three was the reality question. The reality question. Am I dependent on out on factors without within my control to achieve my dream? So we'll talk about that next week. Next week, Wednesday. Wednesday is when we're gonna talk about these things. So I hope I said something that um, move you, inspire you, motivate you in some way, shape, or form. If I did leave a comment, let me know what you think. I know some people have been watching me. Um, Stefan, thank you. Steph, Stefan, um, Samara. Hey, Samara, my cousin. <laughs> I just said, dumb in. Um, hey, you guys talking. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go close because I'm not wearing my glasses. Normally, I do wear glasses. Anyways, um, but thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I hope you, I, I did say something that can help you in some way, shape, and form to go and keep pursuing your goals and your dream. That's what this show is all about. It's, I'm here to help you guys pursue your goals and dreams as I am pursuing my goals and dreams. Part of, part of my goal and my dream is doing this live video because it goes hand in hand with, with a, um, a much bigger dream and goal that I have. Um, this is just like the... Um, like stage one <laughs> if you could if you could put it that way stage one of what i want to do what i want to accomplish this is a, a small part of it i want to go into bigger and better things of reaching out to people and teaching and and uh, motivating people so anyways this is robert this is uh, another excel your life show Excel your live show. I uh, thank you for joining me. Join me again tomorrow. We're going to talk about another exciting topic tomorrow. I don't know yet what we're going to talk about tomorrow, but it's going to be good. And I hope to see you then. Until then, God bless you. I love you. Peace. Just give me a chance here to uh, click the finish button. <laughs>